Welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate about the lip balms, also called soft sticks. These are nothing but the chapsticks which you may use during your winter times, right? The essential ingredient for the soft sticks or for the lip balms are the polyethylene glycol glycols which you have used uh, for your supposed preparation, right? Or some other uh, bases in which you can use okay basically what we do is we use two different bases uh, so that like your chapstick or soft stick is stiff enough so if you use uh, like a high pegs that is polyethylene glycol such as 6000 or you know 4000 their melting point is a little bit higher like 58 or 63 degrees centigrade above uh, you know in that range or in between 50 to 63 degrees centigrade in the range uh, and the polyethylene glycols, which are uh, less than you know, 1,000, uh, their range is between 37 to 40 degrees centigrade. Or you know, polyethylene glycols, 1,500 will be in the range of 44 to 48 degrees centigrade, basically. So today uh, we are using a combination of polyethylene glycols, and one is in the form of solid, and one is in the form of liquid. So the, the first step is we are going to uh, put a water bath thing. A beaker and a beaker one is 100 ml beaker and the other one is a 50 ml beaker make sure the lips are not locked okay so and place the stir bar in it and meanwhile I already I triturated all the essential ingredients that I need because I want to make sure that I have a small particle size and to make sure I have uniform particle size I have used a sieve so I sieved it and these are all the ingredients uh, which I need for the soft stick uh, preparation. Meanwhile, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my polyethylene glycol. Do not triturate your polyethylene glycol because anyway it's going to melt, right? So there's no point in triturating. Don't triturate it. Okay? So add your polyethylene glycol which has a higher uh, peg value. That is, uh, the polyethylene glycol which I used has a higher peg value. So that's why it is in the form of solid as you may notice that. Okay? So it will take a couple of minutes for it to melt my polyethylene glycol this I'm going to add other polyethylene glycol which is in the liquid form as you are aware you have to calculate uh, based on the density factor you're going to calculate the volume of the polyethylene glycol you know that you need so I'm going to add this polyethylene glycol the reason I'm adding this polyethylene glycol uh, after the solid form of polyethylene glycol that smell is because the as I mentioned earlier, melting point and the boiling point is very low for the liquid one, right? So that is the reason we are adding when the temperature is low. So first initially I melted the polyethylene glycol which is in solid form and I reduced the temperature down and now I'm adding the liquid um, peg. So okay now I'm, I'm going to add all the ingredients which I triturated and which I saved so I'm adding all the ingredients okay so leave that for a couple of minutes so once it forms a, a uniform mixture now I'm going to stop this okay use your retriever state bar retriever here is the next important thing this is the applicator okay this is you can call it a lip balm applicator or or a soft stick okay this is the applicator and this is the bale so once you're ready to pour your lip balm mixture make sure you turn this bale two times upwards okay one two all right okay so once you twist pull it I mean once you turn your bale two times up okay because there is a hole there will be hole in this applicator right okay so so what you're going to do is there is a small hole by the way so what you're going to do is you to plug that hole you're going to put like uh, approximately like one ml of this lip balm mixture so keep this aside and wait until it solidifies okay all right so once this solidifies what you're going to do is you're going to pour the leftover lip balm mixture so you're going to pour it full until you see a bubble on top can you see the bubble okay so pour it until you see a like small convex shaped bubble keep this aside until it gets solidified all right so once it solidifies it will look like something like this I hope you can see this okay 
there will be a small hole usually in the middle all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take the spatula now okay you're going to take the spatula and you're going to turn it two twist upwards one two and you're going to gonna melt this smooth smooth in the edge just a rough edges and on the top just like this and smooth in the rough edges because you don't want the your patient lips to be cut because of the sharp edges by this lip balm right so we're gonna sharpen okay once you smoothen this you'll get a smooth texture of your lip balm all right